Hey guys, Pokesick29 here. Welcome to episode number 4 of my Bucket Paintball Coding mini-series. In this episode, I am going to actually show you guys how to, um, like, you know, we're going to add some of the commands in. So, uh, in the, not the last video, but the video before, I told you guys how to, you know, set up the command structure with the command manager and the subcommand. Uh, you know, the subcommand abstract class, but in this episode, we're going to actually make some of the commands. Uh, now, just two quick things. The first is I am joined by my friend Bradley, who is hanging out with me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, he will be watching and I guess occasionally chiming in if I can't get it. I'll, I'll be the translator for all you people that speak that actually speak English out there. And the second thing is I know it's been five days since I made my last video and I've gotten a bunch of people asking me when I'm gonna make the next one, whatever. I am back from my vacation now so the daily uploads should be able to resume. So uh, you guys can go back to expecting daily uploads for the next I think two weeks before school starts. So let's no, go I'm ahead. Just give away you're going to school. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get started with this. We already have. So here's our subcommand um, abstract class, which I will leave up. And right here we already have our join command, our join class set up. We don't have anything in the on command. So what we're going to do for the join command is we're first going to want we're going to want to do a bunch of checks, and then we're going to want to you know eventually probably join them into the arena. So first we're going to say if arena manager dot get instance dot uh, I don't know if we have a method for this yet. Ah uh, yes. So if that get instance dot get arena for p is not equal to null, so what we're doing so what we're doing right here is we're um, we're saying that if the we're, we're trying to get the arena from the player and if it's not null, so as in if the player is in an arena, then we want to stop them. So we can go ahead and say message manager dot get instance dot severe to player, and we can say you are already in a game and maybe, maybe an arena doesn't matter so the second check that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to attempt to what well, we're gonna the the way that the join command will work is you do you know slash join and then the arena number so the next part is we're going to get the number, make sure it's a number, then get the arena from the number and make sure that that arena actually exists. Um, I will, in, in a future video, make the, uh, the, the signs for the, um, the, what is it, the arena join signs, or you can you know, make a sign and it will let you join. And I'll do that eventually, but for now we're just going to write in the join command. So we're going to go ahead and write um, int... Uh, we're going to say int id equals zero. Then we're going to say try, sorry, id equals integer dot parse int args zero. Catch exception e, and then in here we're going to want to say message manager dot get instance dot severe to p, and then we will say arg zero is not a valid number. So what we're doing here is, and I do explain this in some other videos, we are attempting to, um, Wait, no, can I tell you? hang on, we're attempting to get in uh, an integer from their string, so if they do like slash join one, then then this then this should set the id equal to one, but if they do slash join and they enter something that is not a valid number, like slash join high or you know anything that's not a valid number then it will throw an exception this parse int method will throw an exception and uh, then we want to catch it 
Tell them it's not a valid menu, uh, valid number, and then re return. Just stop it right there. Okay, so what Nella said so far is pretty much if you set up this game, then you want a way to join the game. So we type down the way to make their way to join the game. And Nella here is using these types of math where zero, you know, you know, like, like in Rome, zero wasn't a number. So Noah's like thinking like a Roman right now. So zero is not a number. Zero zero isn't valid. Uh first of all, zero is a number. Second of all, zero is valid. The reason why it says int id equals zero is because I need to initialize the id variable. So I just make it equal to zero, but either it's going to be equal to the value of whatever they say, or an exception is going to occur, and it's not going to be equal to anything, and the command is just going to stop. So I'm initializing it as zero. You can initialize that as whatever integer you want, and it doesn't matter because it's either going to become what they say, or the command is going to stop, and it won't matter. So what, why does it? Ma so it doesn't matter what number they type in there. This no, this number when I say int id equals zero, this zero can be any number I want it to be, and so that it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter what number it is. It doesn't matter how I initialize it. Can we, it be a negative number? Yes, yeah, so it could be okay. negative one. Does it have any effect on the gameplay? No, okay. it, it doesn't. Doesn't matter. So whatever you want to do there. Now, next we're going to attempt to get an arena from that so could ID. Could it be a word? No, it's an integer, which okay. means that it's a it's a number. So the computer has to recognize it as a number. It it has to be a number. Okay. So next, what we're going to want to do is we are going can to a, can I have a decimal point. No, that okay. it, this is an integer. If it had a decimal point, it would be a double. Look. Oops. Hang on. Can it be infinity? No. Gosh. No. There are ba I I'll, if you if you're curious I'll explain that to you later. Sorry about that guys. So anyways, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to um, get this. So arena a equals arena manager dot get dot get arena id. So we're getting the arena based on the id that they gave. So now we want to say if a equals null. So if there's no arena with that id, then we're just going to want to say message manager dot get instance dot severe to player um, there is no arena with id uh, uh, id and exclamation point and then we are going to return so now we're, what we're going to want to do is I believe we want to say um, get id get spawn get team okay say a lot of things we are going to need to add a um, one variable, a private boolean started. This started will, you know, say if the arena, like if the game has already started. Because basically, someone could join, someone could not be in an arena and go to join, but if the game already started, then we can't let them join. So we're going to go ahead and say join started, and we're going to, you know, call it false. And we're going to go ahead and say public boolean get uh, or no we're going to say is started because um in coding when you have a boolean i uh, a lot of people like to say is instead of get just for that so then we're going to have the public uh, vo uh void uh set started boolean started and we are going to say this dot started equals Started. So the getter and setter. So then we're finally going to say if a dot um, is started uh, message manager dot get in dot, sorry dot uh, message manager dot get instance dot severe and we will say um, arena ID has already started and then we're going to go ahead and return finally we can just go ahead and say a dot um and it looks like we're also missing a let's see oops set started it looks like we are also missing a uh 
Oh no, we do have the it's it's the add player method. So we're gonna say a dot add player p. So to sum up what we did, we first check if they're already in an arena. If they are, then then we say that they're already in a game. Then we attempt to get the ID based on the number that they give. If it if it's invalid, then we'll tell them it's invalid. Then we attempt to get an arena based on the ID that they gave us. If the if the arena doesn't exist, we'll tell them. If the arena already started, then we'll tell them. And if everything checks out, then we'll go ahead and add them. And we will say, and I'm not going to put a message in there because I think that in, that when in the arena joining, we'll add a message like you join the arena or you know Pogo 29 joined the arena. Let's see how we're. Doing on time here. All right, we're already 10 minutes in, so I guess for the commands, I'm probably going to make multiple videos. Next, we're going to go ahead and make a leave command. The leave command is going to be uh, much simpler because oops, the leave command is going to be much simpler because there are not as many Can checks. Can see your whole screen? No. Can they? Can I see? It? Yes. Can, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and make our leave command. What is nine point two? And yes, extends sub. See, Noah has command. no plans for Saturday nights. This is what he does on Saturday nights. Thank you. Just codes. All right, hang on one second because I'm so used to uh, I'm so used to IntelliJ because I've been using I've been using that uh, a lot recently. So I'm very used to it right now, so I've, I'm kind of forgetting the the whole, what was it, how do you... Okay, everyone should comment that Noah should get a girl. Ugh, alright. I'm completely it. forgetting the shortcut to import the, um, to import whatever, but... But it's, actually, it's Noah okay. just got back from vacation, so we can let him slide on this one. Anyways, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is you can... Go ahead and copy this, and we're going to change it so that if they are not in a game, then we are going to say, you are not in a game. Then we are going to go ahead, actually first we're going to say, um, if, uh, we're going to say arena A equals arena manager dot get, in dot get instance dot get arena for player. And then we are going to say, Oh, it's command shift L, oh, that's right. Then we're going to say if A is null, then send them a message. Otherwise, I can't really think of of any other checks, so I think we can just say A dot um is there do we write a method to remove the player? A dot add player. I guess we just need to say public void remove player player P. And, you know, we'll add more stuff here, like the hand handling the, um, the uh, items and the, you know, messages and whatever. So then we can go ahead and say, um, we can go ahead and say players.puts, or uh, it's uh, players.removep. So we're just, you know, removing them. And then we can just say a dot remove player p. Now uh, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to go ahead and in sub command I'm going to make in this class I'm just going to make a, a quick list of all of the commands that we're going to need. We are going to need a create command. We are going to need a um, like a command to create the arena. We're going to need a set location or something. So, um, so like, you know, you do create and then, you know, the ID, but then you do set location ID and then, you know, like red spawn or, you know, blue spawn. Or any other colored spawn. We're only, I'm only putting two teams in this. You guys can easily, you guys can fairly easily add more teams, and you guys can very easily rename the teams. If you don't want red and blue, if you want yeah, that's why was different colors or different names, you can easily change the names. Magenta and turquoise all the way. Thank you. Um, trying to think of anything else. These are just for the commands. I know that I need to do the the, the listeners and the the uh, the scoreboard 
In fact, I'll even write that down. We need to do the listeners, and we need to do the scoreboard, and we need to do the lobby signs. And... I'm trying to think. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and leave with this. And please comment in the description if you have a request either for a command or for a feature that is not in this short list because I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of things. I'm I'm sure that I'm forgetting wait, a lot wait, of wait, things. No, are we making any more videos tonight? No. Oh, okay. Not tonight, tomorrow. Okay. Every everybody also comment what Noah should be doing next Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you. Um I will most likely be bringing you guys another video next Saturday. Um, so comment if there's a command or feature that you think that that I'm missing, or either that I'm missing or that you would like to see, and you know I'll see if I can work it in. So I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow, probably tomorrow with another video, and that is all. So comment and, with what and, you and 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 subscribe if you haven't subscribe subscribed. if you want to see more. If if you if you haven't subscribed, then you suck very much. Thank so. you, thank you. So, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.